First here tonight at 6, police confirming that Kyla Hayton, the missing Mansfield woman, is dead. Also confirming late this afternoon she was in fact pregnant and that her unborn child is now also dead as well. Today, police detectives found Hayton's body in a building on West Stewart Street. 2 News reporter Adam Reif is live outside police headquarters with more on the case. 2 News was first on the scene this morning as ATF investigators and Dayton police detectives swarmed a duplex on West Stewart Street and Wildwood. There, Kyla Hayton's body was pulled out of the building roughly 50 yards from where her boyfriend Todd Burkhardt's body was found on Friday. This is the man Dayton police confirm is a person of interest. Larry Dwayne Rogers, the sole person of interest. Rogers is currently in custody in the Montgomery County Jail on weapons charges. He has not been charged with these homicides. Earlier today, Montgomery County Coroner Kent Harshbarger said Burkhart died from multiple gunshot wounds, ruling that death a homicide. Now tonight, police say Hayton was also shot and killed. An autopsy and official cause of death will come tomorrow. Hayton and Burkhart were first reported missing last week. Now police are looking into how Burkhart knew the person of interest and what brought them to this area. At this point in the investigation, I really don't want to get too far into motive. Uh, like I said, uh, we're still working through the backstory, um, trying to figure out what transpired and why. The area has a vast number of abandoned homes to be gone through. Uh, we even enlisted the help of our federal partners to uh, leverage some advanced investigative techniques uh, to locate uh, these individuals. And some of those federal partners included ATF investigators who used cadaver dogs on loan from the Ohio Department of Natural Resources to help locate that body. Police confirmed tonight Kyla Hayton was pregnant when she was killed. Her unborn child also did not survive. Live in Dayton, Adam Reif, 2 News, working for you.